Hi again everyone, Scott Pyre Pop Cult Fan here, and in this video, I got my trusty Pizza Planet shirt on, which means I want to provide an update for Toy Story 5. I know D20, I think there was uh, news about the movie at D23, and I don't think I ever did an update for it um, after, so I'm doing it now. Uh, Toy Story 5. I know this is a movie that not many people want, uh, just for the sheer fact that the first three movies were this perfect little trilogy that did not need to be continued. Then they made Toy Story 4, which no one wanted that either. And this surprised a lot of people. It turned out to be a pretty great film. It was a nice little epilogue to the trilogy. And, you know, after that, there was not really any story left to tell with this universe. Uh, but alas, since then, they made the Lightyear movie and... I enjoy that film. Not everyone does, um, but I liked it. I liked it. I enjoyed the Lightyear movie, and I just wasn't, you know, I wasn't ex wanting an, a Toy Story five, like uh, no one does. But you know, they're, they're making it, and they already have a release date set for this new movie for to for. 2026 like in June so they're already you know full force going back into this with Toy Story 5 I've heard Woody will in fact be reappearing in this movie so both Woody and Buzz will be returning as well as the original main cast of the previous movies as well so yeah and it's interesting because I was reading like the plot like the premise of this new film and it's something different that I'm intrigued with now I'm not sure what they're gonna do exactly and how they're gonna handle this because the idea of it it's interesting on paper how they'll be able to execute that uh we shall see um I like how, you know, you know, in the modern day, you know, like kids nowadays are always on their phones and I don't, I don't know if, you know, gen, you know, I don't know if kids nowadays uh, play with toys anymore. I'm not sure, but a lot of them are on their phones nowadays. And so that's where the premise of this movie is sort of goes. And the idea of toys versus technology is something that's rather fascinating to me. Uh, it's like this kind of threat that's replacing toys uh, in the sense that it's just something that kids are doing nowadays compared to back then when they used to play toys, with, when they used to play with toys. And there's this whole thing where I'm assuming AI maybe is the threat or the villain of this new movie question mark I'm not entirely sure uh but it's like uh I've heard that there is like gonna be a computer that mind controls like over 50 Buzz Lightyear toys um I'm curious about that I'm curious about that. I mean, it sounds interesting, to say the least. Um, which makes me wonder, like, oh, what's the main threat here? Uh, it, what's the main villain? Is, is there going to be a face to this? I, I mean, I don't know. It, it, like, like, I'm wondering, is AI the villain? Like, is artificial intelligence the, the villain of this new movie? That's what I'm curious about. I'm not sure, but... Yet, yeah, like, <laughs> I heard, like, in somewhere that a computer is going to control, like, 50 Buzz Lightyear toys and kind of hearkening back to Toy Story 2 and a big hallway in that toy bar uh, store of all those Buzz Lightyear toys, um, kind of make making me th think of that a little, but not just one Buzz Lightyear with that belt, but all of them just running amok i'm really curious how that's gonna turn out uh okay um and 
Um, that's all that's known as of now for this upcoming movie. The idea of toys versus technology is a premise that intrigues me. Uh, I'm just not sure how this is gonna go. I don't know. Uh, we shall see. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, we all love Toy Story, but we don't need this franchise to continue, really. Um, so I just hope that they tread carefully with this new film. Um, and also, um, they have this... I don't recognize a director, uh, but this, this person directed a short film uh, for Disney+. Plus. Uh, but... Yeah, um, curious about it more than anything else, uh, and I'm sure we will get more updates, and I'll provide more updates for you guys covering this movie, so we'll see how all that goes. So, uh, real quick before I end this off, I know Lord of the Rings Rings of Power has been airing, I have not been watching it, I'm behind on Lord of the Rings Rings of Power, um, um, hopefully one of these days on one of my off days I can catch up on that and then give my thoughts on Rings of Power Season 2. So I'm, I'm behind on that. And also there are two shows premiering this week. Um, the new Agatha All Along show on Disney Plus as well as the Penguin show on Max and HBO. I'll see what I can yeah, I'm sure I'll cover those um, and give my thoughts on the first episodes of those sh shows. So look forward to that. Um, that should do it. Thank you all so much for watching. And we'll see you all next time. You've got a friend in me. Peace. <laughs>